Welcome everyone to another Alien Transmissions episode, the Alien Minds official uh, podcast right here on uh, YouTube. Um, I'm Eternal Cypher, I'll be your host during the podcast and my guests today are the co-founders of Zambia's first esports team and that is Team Geometrics. So with me I have Prince Musole and uh, Ch Cholwe Shabukadi. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> okay, so I guess you'd like to say hi, people. Hello, how are you doing, people? Hi, everyone. Cholo here. All right, cool. So for today's episode, for today's uh, podcast, um, we are basically talking about <coughs> Team Geometrics. Um, we last had a podcast, I think the very first podcast that I had uh, with you guys, we basically were... Um, basically, you're introducing the fact that uh, we had a new esports team in Zambia, the first of its kind. And so today, I guess we're checking in on you guys just to find out how you know you're doing and the like. But before we get into uh, all that serious stuff, I'd like to find out what you're currently uh, playing. Um, basically, in terms of gaming, what, what games are you currently playing? Prince, I guess you can set the ball rolling. Uh, well, I'll be honest, I haven't played... Uh lot of games lately okay uh, but the past time mm -hmm. i managed to platinum dark souls dark wow souls, dark, dark souls, souls you've platinum dark souls you know ever since i platinum dark souls uh -huh. i feel like there's no other game i can really enjoy the way i oh, did okay. for dark souls because uh -huh. dark souls you have to play it three or four times for you to get different endings and okay I see. I see and it's the difficulty of it uh -huh. is beautiful you know so every yeah. other game i'm playing right now is like eh, Oh, I see. Same thing okay. first time. So I haven't really invested my time mm -hmm. since that period. Okay. What about Bloodborne? Because it's the same developer, I guess, uh, from software. Who, who I also uh, Bloodborne. Uh, Blood wow. Bone. Can you come <laughs> over to my place and let's pretend that it's me who's done the Platinum in that game. <laughs> I, I get Bloodborne as well. Okay, nice. Uh, nice Bloodborne nice. actually was the first one I Platinum. Okay. Then after I finished Bloodborne, I was like, you know mm -hmm. what? I need more of this. That's why I, I went see. to Dark Souls. Because okay. Okay. I was asking a few friends of mine online mm -hmm. and they were like, uh, Dark Souls is more tougher than Bloodborne. Yes, yes. That's what I but well. in my understanding, mm -hmm. there are certain mechanics and certain parts that make uh, Bloodborne a bit difficult more than Dark Souls. Oh, okay. Uh, for example, if you're doing the Charles Dungeons, mm -hmm. I found them quite all right, but the second last one where you're fighting the Headless Parasite, mm -hmm. ah, I think. <laughs> okay. And one thing about Bloodborne is that you can't block. There's no shield, you understand? Yeah, so uh -huh. you have to swerve every time enemy attacks. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to time it properly. Mm -hmm. and then sometimes if you miss that, you're mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. Unlike Dark Souls, you can block because you've got a shield. Oh, okay. So you've got different mechanics and they're comparing mm -hmm. them it's a bit too sensitive, you might oh. hear. <laughs> but in my, underst my mm. own understanding, uh, Dark Souls is more harder than, than Bloodborne. Than Bloodborne. Right, but cool. there are also tougher stages in Bloodborne than mm. Dark Souls. Okay, yeah. I see. Chome. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, first of all, Prince, you should try Sekiro. Yes, my, oh, that's, yeah, my, yeah, that's yeah, my next yeah, target, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get enough cash, I'll buy one. Okay, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, so the game that I'm playing right now mm. is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice, I, nice. I started it. Mm -hmm. Then I had to give the copy back to the owner. And okay. then I got, I, I borrowed it from a guy called Tulani. I'm, okay. He's a new friend of mine. I met him online when I was streaming. Okay. So I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn halfway mm. through. Okay. Um, after that, I'm downloading Apex Legends in the background, oh, okay, so I want nice, to try it. Nice. I hate Battle Royale, but... Uh, yeah, I'll trying try. to make an exception. Yes, okay. <laughs> I'll try. Okay. Otherwise, okay. I'm loyal to Uncharted, so whenever uh, I get tired of Horizon and running around, I mm. go into Uncharted multiplayer. Okay. So cool. far, yeah. Alright, cool. And by the way, just for our listeners, um, you do have um, YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel yes. where you stream. Yes. Okay. Uh, so my YouTube channel, you can search for Cholwe Shabukali. That's S H A B U K A L I, or you can just type in Ellen underscore Cho, and then it will pop up, and you see a couple of my videos from my streams. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. On my part, well, I'm playing a number of things. Um, what game was it that I got recently? I'm now forgetting. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it, of course there's MK11. Uh, of course, not competitively because I suck. <laughs> so you basically, whenever, like if you're a friend of mine and you see me online, you normally like find me um, somewhere in the crypt or maybe on the towers of time, basically trying to grind some coins 
just so that I can unlock stuff uh, in the crypt. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think okay, they, like I would touch this game, leave it, then touch this other game, leave it, and stuff like that. So I need to commit to to something. Maybe days gone if I manage to get that. Although um, it didn't do very well when it comes to uh, reviews and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Um, apart from gaming, um, what stuff are you watching on TV? Like series, anime? Game of bloody thrones okay (laughs) (laughs) the Uh the, the new episode is tomorrow i'm so pissed i'm like i love how she i'm sorry guys Mm. i love how she killed everyone i felt her pain really (laughs) justifiable (laughs) the chick was through a lot Uh and let's be honest she's been listening to her advisors Mm. the whole time if you remember that tyro woman the, the, mm. the lovely Tyro woman who used to look like a nun, mm. that queen, mm. she once sat with her after they sat for their first meeting when the Donish woman was there and everything, yeah. it was season six or seven. Mm-hmm. And then she said this, I have lived a long time and what's got me to survive is that I've never mm. always listened to my advisors. The mistake Daenerys made is she's always been listening to advisors mm-hmm. the whole time. Mm. She could, and she's emotional about it because she's lost so much. She sacrificed so much for a cause that wasn't hers. Mm. Yes, the th- the kingdoms have been dead, but she fought for John because mm. she loved him. Mm. She could have killed Cersei, then joined them, mm. but she chose to go first to the the north and then go to that side, and then she lost everything: her children, her best friend. She was emotional, and when she looked at that castle, she saw everything her family lost: mm. being in exile, being raped. And you, you can't expect her not to snap. Yeah, no, and they deserve true. it. Those people were. Happy. <laughs> they deserve it. Yeah, the, the like innocent children. Like, no, and no, 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 no. Women like massacred. In <laughs> <laughs> like those people were happy when Ned Stark was beheaded. They celebrated. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, they were that's happy true. when Cersei was being stoned in the streets. Mm. They've been happy for everything, even when, <laughs> so even let when them experience some yeah, <laughs> suffering. Yeah, it's like Sodom and Gomorrah. Clear uh, their mouths, start afresh. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, Prince. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not committed to watching most of the things. Okay, but uh, I'm watching Game of Thrones on the side. Okay, and uh, I'm more into anime. No, oh, okay. All so right, cool. I'm watching Attack on Titan. Okay. Season three, part two. Okay, nice, nice. And I'm also watching uh, Ghost. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's actually called Phantom the Requiem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't pronounce the last part, but yeah. Okay. Uh, so far, so I'm watching. And uh, okay, cool. once I'm done with this, then I'll go into other ones. I'm also watching One Punch Man on the side because season two is out, and I'm okay. uh, keeping up to date with that. Mm-hmm. I just finished watching season two of Mob Psycho. Okay. So I'm more into anime strongly than okay, cool. actual series. Series okay. I'm also watching Game of Thrones. So I've been watching it ever since 2011. I'm trying mm. to just finish up with it. Okay. I don't really mm. mind how the things are turning out. I'm okay. pissed. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> it's okay. It's All just, right. just end. Okay. You know? okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm that's just true. dragging with it that's, so it can that, end. That's very true. That's yeah. very true. Um, for me, basically, what am I watching? Yes, of course. Like you've mentioned, uh, Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, I mean, like for me, it's been a bit disappointing, I guess, from the writing aspect. Um, I can tell that it's a job that that looks as if it's been rushed. Um, some of the writing comes off as being lazy, and I'm sorry to say that. Uh, <laughs> then, um, yeah, you can, uh, and they had one year, yeah, okay, they had one whole year. We yeah. had to live without Game of Thrones for a year, and this is what they had to, you know, come back with you know so it's very you know it's 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 sad but i guess um that's how it is sometimes with certain shows if they stay too long they end up you know so yeah so yeah i think let it end to watch the last episode tomorrow i think i'll be watching it in the morning i don't think i'll we'll see what happens maybe (laughs) i might stay up for it or something but i think i'll just watch it on uh, monday in the morning uh, um yeah so basically that's what i'm watching um i've gotten into a lot of netflix shows um black mirror is one of my favorites um we'll be having a new season coming out i think that's fifth june although it's just three episodes i'm sad about that <laughs> um you guys introduced me to stranger things i'm even surprised prince you're telling me that you haven't seen season two and i've already <laughs> seen season two that's how uh, i was taken uh, yeah. by the show you know so yeah i'm waiting for the third season it should be starting i think 
July sometime, 4th of July, 4th of July. And the goodness is that they just dump all the episodes there. It's not like a weekly thing yeah. where you have yeah. to wait. So that's, that's, the, that's the good thing with, uh, with that. So I think those are basically what, what the stuff that I'm watching right now. Okay, so um, I guess at, it's at this part where we can now um, talk business and uh, basically find out or check in with uh, Team G Matrix. So basically, um, how has it been running um, t- uh, Team G Matrix uh, since you established it? That was way back in 20, 2015. Why do no, you no, make no, it sound like... Oh, sorry, sorry, no, oh, it's, isn't it? It's, it's just like been a very, year. It's been like, a year. Oh, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, anyway, um, oh. anyway, yeah. So anyway, how has it been? Well, um, <laughs> it's been tough. Okay. It's been tough. It's yeah. been an amazing roller coaster. Yes, okay. that's the best thing to say. Okay. Actually, I understand your confusion. Mm-hmm. We used to operate as GM at the first place. Exactly. Yeah, but then Team Gym Matrix itself was established in 2018. Mm, yeah, uh, that's true. That's when we actually now finalized the papers and yeah. the company yeah. was born. Yeah. It's been all right, and it's been difficult. Like she said, roller mm-hmm. coaster, like all things. Um, we are very blessed to have the first year as an experience. We mm-hmm. actually achieved so much in mm-hmm. little time. Mm-hmm. And this year, we're looking forward to achieve so much as well. Okay. Uh, we only have uh, almost halfway into the year so mm-hmm. far, and we've got some amazing things we're working on, and we're hoping we can share with them mm-hmm. as time goes by. All right, you cool. know, because cool. some things we can't announce as yet. It's that's like true. That's, that's very true. No, it's it's more like, I understand. I understand. Yeah, it's more okay. of a surprise to you guys. Uh, yes, please. Um, and uh, you have to look out to our social media pages mm-hmm. and see the things we'll be posting and announcing as well as we move by. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. And then, um, and unless Chola, you wanted to say something, or um, no, I can just say, you know, mm. it's it's uh, it's been a year of growth. Okay. Uh, it's been a year of learning. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're learning from our successes, our small successes, and mm. we're also learning from our small mistakes. And okay. I appreciate our team. I appreciate our players. And it's mm. it's really a process, and we're enjoying every step. All right, yeah. cool. That's cool. All right. Um, basically. What are the challenges? What are some of the challenges um, that you face um, in running the uh, eSports team? And this is something that, let's say, you have Zambia's first eSports team. <laughs> so you don't have, you know, like, somewhere where you can, like, say, okay, this is an example. So <laughs> they dealt with this challenge in this way. So that's the way we are also going to, maybe we're going to adopt. You've got no reference point or anything like that. So, <laughs> yeah. so anyway, yeah. So how... Have, uh, what, what are the challenges and then maybe like maybe uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't know Prince would you like to, to answer this first or well uh, yeah like you've said uh, mm-hmm. being a pioneer at anything mm-hmm. is very difficult yeah and it's, it's more difficult for you to pave away than just follow away mm-hmm. so like you've said we've never had uh, people we can look up to mm-hmm. the thing is that people love esports in Zambia people yeah. love watching esports people mm-hmm. want to take part in esports mm-hmm. but no one had the courage to say let me start and do this exactly. and so that's why we're like you know what we really love this and put passion mm-hmm. for this let's do this okay. you know despite all this and like like she said earlier on it's been a learning process mm-hmm. not just from ourselves mm-hmm. we've been learning and uh, getting advice from people uh, outside our, our own uh, comfort zones mm-hmm. and content mm-hmm. I would say mm-hmm. we're not afraid to ask questions we yeah. research so every time we achieve something we're like oh that worked okay let's focus on that okay and if we fail we're like okay we made a mistake on this mm-hmm. one so let's do better next time okay cool. so it's been uh, the challenge has been learning of course learning every, anything that's new is more always a challenge mm-hmm. and you always have to make sure you are on point exactly. so that you don't uh, mess up big enough to crumble you or kill you, okay. you know? mm, cool. and uh, as we are moving by the next most thing i can appreciate is the fans that we've been gaining okay. and uh, we're seeing uh, the passion that people have behind us mm, and mm. Uh, we would like even them to also take on the steps and also mm. achieve and create their own new teams mm. new groups and take uh, take part in esports in any mm-hmm. kind of way either by hosting tournaments mm. and not being afraid to do what they want to do other mm-hmm. than just watching but they should also take participation into that so uh, cool 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 Shall I? Yeah. yes um yeah basically it's the same thing mm-hmm. um i think one of the challenges uh that we face as a core is um you know when something is starting as a pioneer everyone is waiting for that inspiration Mm -hmm. that spark that makes them say okay i think i can try Mm, and do this um we appreciate the fact that when we announced the team we ignited that uh inspiration as Mm -hmm. well Mm -hmm. 
Um, also, the other thing that um, I would like to say is a challenge is uh, the opportunities. Uh, opportunities, hoping that, uh, for example, uh, Africa would be included for the first time in um, the pro series from NRS. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so the challenge is that we have never been included as a continent since since I can remember, <laughs> yeah, since I can remember and I was interested in competitive gaming, mm. uh, when we got into the business in, um, in Injustice, around the era of Injustice 2, they had announced the Season 2 Pro Series and Africa was still not included in the Intercontinental Challenge. Wow. Yeah, this is something we were ranting about on Twitter yes, last night. Oh, okay. um, so we hope that okay after a bit of people in the community started getting notice of mr 5000 and uh some of the african teams after the um, the scg or legendary league mm -hmm. we hope that okay maybe now they'll start listening and they've yeah. realized that there's a scene here but with the new combat motor combat competition mm -hmm. It's another round two of that. Okay. Like, I don't know <laughs> maybe if I just think that maybe you only know injustice and maybe... That, that's the thing. Like, mm. um, they haven't included us again. And mm. it doesn't make sense because all the other continents are included. I mean, yeah. what's intercontinental if all the continents are not included or given a chance, exactly. you know? Yeah. So it's a challenge in my eyes and in Prince's eyes because it's hard to... Uh, yes, everyone buys the game, right? Mm, mm. And they play. But the factor of community is what thrives. Mm. That makes any game thrive to success. Mm. Um, someone on Twitter was telling me that the numbers from uh, the servers or something, I'm not really into technical stuff, forgive okay. me, guys. Okay. Right. But uh, she mentioned something about servers and the numbers and data from mm. Africa get thrown around Asia and Europe. Ah, so it yeah. makes it look like there's no activity in Africa. Oh, okay. yeah, Meanwhile, thousands of us, the yeah. first game we ever played was mm. MK, mm. by the way. And every time an MK game gets out, mm. pre-orders from Africa <laughs> are in numbers. You know? <laughs> like if you if you go to any tournament mm. in Africa, mm. the number two games you always see mm. is FIFA and an NRS game. Yeah. That's just a fact. Yeah. Anywhere you go in mm. Africa. Mm. So, you know, everyone, because of that factor where your own game developer is not giving you that... Uh, inspiration yeah. okay. you find this thing where by the community will start to crumble because everyone mm. will be like what's the point exactly you know That's every true. year we talk but nothing happens mm. Mm. so it's a challenge because the vision of everyone who starts a community mm. or a team mm. in your mind is like okay we're going to be supported exactly. even yeah. if it's with an online qualifier to give our best mm. and try and show that we can actually compete exactly. and get onto the world stage. Mm. So if that factor is not there in the equation, it's very mm. hard to inspire someone to say, hi, um, all your lab being online in, mm. these, in these places will get you to this point. It's mm. very hard to inspire the community. Yeah. So that's one of the major, major challenges I can say we have, okay. aside from the internal challenges. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just uh, yeah, what mm, she said. And um, it would be very okay if they could do that because we can't always travel to fight for points. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, during the last Injustice 2 Pro Series, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. 5000 was uh, was one of the people who took part uh, from Team Geometrics. Yes. Uh, went there from Africa to attend to Evo. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. So that can't always be the case. You yeah. understand? People yeah. can't always travel to, to America just for mm -hmm. points all the mm -hmm. time. The best thing that they can do is what she said, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, give us a qualifier that mm -hmm. once, um, maybe if um, the tournament is hosted either online mm -hmm. or they could work with some people who host tournaments offline on, yeah. our, on their behalf, yeah. they are good people who can host this. Pro yeah. Series Gaming, yeah. there's SCGL. Yeah, SCGL is mm -hmm. recommendable. And recommendable mm -hmm. like SCGL, one of the mm -hmm. best people who actually host tournaments yeah. in Africa. Yeah. They could work with those people, mm -hmm. host a qualifier for us, and then mm -hmm. they can take the best two or the best three. Yeah. Even the best one, the first mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. doesn't really matter. Okay. But as long as we've got an African representative there, exactly. we don't mind sending our own players to represent Africa. But mm -hmm. Uh, give opportunity to other people as well to take yeah. part in this and create points for themselves. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, cool. 
All right. So anyway, the next question that I'm going to ask uh, as we close, we, can you imagine, um, I mentioned this the last time we were talking, <laughs> time does usually fly when you're <laughs> having fun. Um, anyway, uh, basically, uh, what are your future plans as Team Jet Matrix? What are the future plans <laughs> for Team Jet Matrix? If you are willing to share. Just I thought you were two. going to say if we have a future. That's what I was <laughs> laughing. <Sorry. laughs> no. <laughs> if you have a future. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so our future plans are we, well, we have always, like we've said in the past, in previous talks with a lot of people, our passion and our vision was to have a team that embodies esports from all fronts, mm. uh, a team that tells a story of okay. culture, of the unity of esports, of how mm. it crosses borders and how it unites us to something we, we love mm-hmm. so passionately. Yeah. Um, so this year we took a leap and okay. we made a big exciting step. Right. Um, Drum roll please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Yeah, so uh, we decided to uh, venture into signing uh, players in America who okay. would represent us uh, in the pro series as well. Okay. Uh, so our first uh, signing was uh, this great guy, cool guy, okay. very humble, passionate mm. lad. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, his name is mm. Han Rashid. Okay. So uh, we have been talking to Han for like over a year now, right. almost a All year. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay, almost a year, almost mm. a year. And um, we finally uh, came to a conclusion and uh, we had a contract drafted and signed. Okay. Nice. And uh, so he'll be competing for us in uh, the Pro Series in uh, the American tournaments. And okay. the first stop for us is Combo Breaker. So we're mighty right. excited. It's starting nice. on the 24th, 26th. Of that May. is next weekend, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Combo Breaker. All right, cool. So we have a representative from Team Geometrics at Combo Breaker. Exactly. Obviously. Wow. So we will be at uh-huh. we'll be at combo breaker. The uh-huh. beauty about this for us is mm-hmm. it's strategic because mm-hmm. we can't always travel, of course, mm-hmm. but we want our brand to be represented everywhere. Okay. Right. And it being at combo breaker in the pro series, while we also take part on the African front, mm-hmm. is amazing for us because we kill two birds with one stone. Okay, exactly. Because I was actually going to ask to say that. Um, like we, all, we we have our people here, so why don't you sign our people here? But basically, like you've put it, you already have someone who's um, in the United States who yeah. can promote Team Geometrics, okay, uh, by attending these uh, tournaments and whatnot, because he's already based there. Yeah, he's the already States. based so there. Basically, it's, it's cheaper for, for Team Geometrics yeah. Yeah. under this harsh Sunday economy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but um, yeah, um, I can see, I can see, it, um, I can see your logic there. Yeah, all right, Prince. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to add on to yeah. this landmark. Yeah, uh, uh, like, like you've said, mm. it's mighty strategic, and we mm. like that. And it makes sense, business sense, mm-hmm. in our yeah. aspect. Right. You know, uh, that doesn't mean that we're not signing any African players. No, right. Of course, we will sign African players. Okay. But like you said, they must be with a purpose. Yes. You understand? So the future of Geometrics right now is uh, us riding on this new uh, step we've taken. Okay. And like you've said, we're pioneers in this uh, yes, yes. industry, mm-hmm. uh, I would say. So we are learning everything we're doing. Yes, and also yes. learning to see how well uh, mm-hmm. our fellow American player is going to represent the brand okay. while we do this as well on the backside. Okay. And if we see our success it brings and how much better results are, mm. we'll venture into signing even more Af- uh, African players and more mm. American mm. players. That's true. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. cool. Great. Great stuff, guys. All right. Um, then finally, um, on the topic of signing <laughs> players. Yes. Uh, the last... <laughs> uh, okay, I'm asking you this because I guess I've been approached by one or two, three four people oh my God. 10, 20. <laughs> 20, you know uh basically they know about uh, your team and they've been wondering um how they can get signed i remember um, uh, what you did was to host a tournament that was uh in 2017 right yeah mm-hmm. in november 2017 and uh, it was from there uh you were able to come up with a team uh yeah so we'll first of all maybe the first part of the question is and uh how likely are you to sign Mozambian players, I guess? Yeah. Then the next part is, 
will there be another um, stone tournament? I'll answer the second one. Prince will take the first one. <laughs> okay, all right. We can say Prince. Okay, so uh, I understand that part. Actually, we mm. also get messages, I sometimes see. even phone calls, people asking, mm. Mm. how can I join the team? How can yeah. I be part of the yeah. team? Yeah. And, people uh, actually thought Alien Minds was a team. And what? Like, what? Are you no, serious? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> and then I was like, no, so far we only have to do matrix. How do, <laughs> how do I sign? So that's when I was like, you know, That's cool, yeah. though. <laughs> yeah, but no, 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 I'm not <laughs> thinking about that right now. So Prince, sorry for interrupting. No, you can no, go. Okay, yes. sorry. Yeah. So, uh, like I was saying, mm. uh, and they also ask us if we're signing any other players mm. in different genres of games. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So like Apex Legends? That, mm-hmm. Yes, like Apex Legends. <laughs> wow. All those questions get uh-huh. done about. Uh, right now, we're not signing uh, people or players in other genres, okay. like FIFA or uh, Apex Legend or any shooter, okay. I'd say. Okay. Uh, right. We'd like to venture into CSGO, okay. but not just right now. Right okay. now, we're focusing on this uh, path of fighting games. Okay. So, right. like we said, uh, pioneering something is always kind of tough. Yeah. And you have true. to, you're not learning from everybody. So, mm-hmm. we want to make sure we have enough success and we have built enough traction for us. Okay. And experience. Okay. And experience right. for us to be able to under, ha- handle another genre mm-hmm. of games. But right now, we are so focused on fighting games right now. Okay. Cool. And uh, yes. We'll be sending uh, Zambian players, okay. but not just yet. All right. So the best advice I could give right now is just to keep uh, updated by following our social medias. Okay. So cool. you can be updated to every information that we mm-hmm. post and mm-hmm. when we'll be posting that as well. All right. Cool. Uh, if there will be another Stone Gaming tournament, I will let Cholo answer on that one. All right. Cholo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Just before I answer that question, to right. add on to Prince, mm-hmm. um, we usually get the question of uh, how do you, what are the requirements or how do you qualify? Mm. Well, one of the first things I would say is uh, even though we selected um, the last uh, batch of players from mm. the Stone Gaming Tournament, mm. at the core thing of each person we got was their experience. Okay. We went down and researched and found that they had been playing games in game centers mm. for years, okay. in Matero, in Chilenje, mm. in Kabwata. Mm. So being a player who plays at home, and being good when you play with your friends or your cousins Mm -hmm. doesn't justify you being a great competitive player yeah you Mm -hmm. need the core experience Mm -hmm. so for an organization or a sponsor to consider you they need to see your competitive experience Mm -hmm. so the best thing i would suggest for any person who is interested in being part of an organization in the future Mm -hmm. is to take part in everything you see happening Mm -hmm. It, 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 it builds your reputation yeah. and your experience and your CV mm. when it comes to you applying to us. So if there's a rundown competition, don't think, oh, it's just a small tournament. Prince and yeah. I go to those tournaments and we mm. see who's playing. Yeah, you're actually there. Yes. Yeah. So play, we'll see your experience. We'll see, okay, this is how good he is. Okay, he's worth uh, considering he can mm. improve. You know, those are things that uh, make us more confident in you. Mm. The other thing is, you see African uh, Cyber League Gaming, mm. SEGL. They have uh, online tournaments every week. Mm. Every week you can log on, play, and boost up your ranking. We can check the SEGL website and mm. see your ranking with other players around Africa. That would justify you applying. Mm. So if you can get that experience by playing more and showing up for online competitions and offline, then you're good to go. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, so the other part of the question, yeah, stone turn, the stone tournament. Yeah. Will there be another one? The other stone gaming tournament. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's something uh, that we've been thinking of uh, because we'd love to also grow the community on the back end. We also mm. need the community to thrive on. So yeah, it's it's something we are really, really considering. And don't mm-hmm. be shocked if you see a promotion soon. All right, great, it's something great. that we are actually considering having an annual uh, competition. Nice. So yeah, d- yeah, so <laughs> let me not get into it. Okay. Tomorrow. I'll, I'll jinx myself. <laughs> so, okay. so, yeah, it's something you can hope for. All right, yeah. cool, cool. So, keep training and uh, like mentioned, stay tuned to the Facebook and Twitter pages. Exactly. Promotions might start anytime. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. All right, cool. All right, um, I guess we're coming to the end of uh, today's podcast. Um, I would just like to find out from my guests any last uh, words. I'd like to thank you guys for supporting our team and our cause. Mm-hmm. Um, it really keeps us going and we, we love the passion that we receive from our fans. We really hope that you can continue following our social media handles on Twitch, 
YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, also Instagram as well. Right. So I don't know if uh, you can remember, like, okay, if you can give each and every one of those. Okay. Yeah. You have to go it's through simple. the whole list. <laughs> <laughs> we keep it simple, guys. Right, cool, we keep it cool. simple. Yeah. Team Geometrix on Instagram. Team Geometrix on Twitter. Team Geometrix on Twitch. Team Geometrix on YouTube. Simple, straightforward. Right. And Team Geometrix on Facebook. I said yeah. Facebook. <laughs> what about YouTube? You mentioned it's YouTube. YouTube, YouTube as well. You okay, guys, no, no, I said no, everything. Was, okay. <laughs> yes, so yes, so follow yeah. us. Follow us. Follow our players. Mm. Uh, so when you come to our YouTube, we also start sharing. Okay, if you if you search for Justin Banda, Han Rashid, and uh, Zaza Mwelele, on their Twitter on their player headers on Twitter, you can see their YouTube channels and Facebook mm. channel. Oh, the YouTube and Twitch. Sorry, yeah, you right. follow. Okay, cool. All right, um, at this point in time, I'd just really like to say thanks to my guests for coming through uh, on today's podcast. Uh, it's been a long while since I last did the podcast, but I'm <laughs> happy that uh, finally, with this one at least, I would say, okay, I've started, then hopefully I'll have uh, a lot more during the course of uh, 2019. But otherwise, thank you so, so very much um, to you, Prince, and Chole for coming through on today's uh, podcast. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, and we're basically in conclusion, what I'd just like to say is that uh, people, you've heard for yourselves uh, what Team Geometrics is doing, um, like they advised, especially if you'd like to join an esports team, make yourself known, attend these tournaments and stuff like that. The saddest bit is that uh, basically I was reading some messages from a certain fighting group where it's like, okay, people aren't really interested in attending tournaments, I don't know for what reason, but I guess that's why it's not maybe for everyone because they knew there should be some burning passion um, to be the best really i remember the time when i used to like compete in tekken 5 i would always go to like game stores um you know the game stores at Monday Hill, just waiting during my lunch break for a challenge from someone can you just imagine and <laughs> you know there was just something in me that wanted to compete okay right. so yeah so it, it, I guess it starts from there. If you do have the passion to do it, then of course you will do it. So I just hope we can see um, a number of people, um, you know, coming up, uh, stepping forward to the challenge to like, you know, uh, play and uh, basically compete with uh, people out there. Don't like hold yourself back or anything like that. Just, you know, just come out to the events and the like and uh, showcase your skills and you might be the next uh, Mr. 5000 or the next Mwelele or so many, so many, so many players that we have, wonderful players that I can't mention right now, but yeah, you can become one of those. So um, thank you very much, Prince and Chole, for coming through today's uh, podcast. Uh, this has been Eternal Cypher on the 20th episode of the Alien Transmissions podcast. Thank you very much for uh, listening and um, happy gaming.